How's it going guys? Here we are at Faith From Above and my name is Mabosha Mikesa and today we have a very special episode where we are sharing another story of what God has done on the mission field and we have a canvasser with us who went out to reach out to many different souls and he has something special that took place and today we have Jace Addison. How's it going Jace? Very well, how are you? I'm doing well man, thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. And I hear that you have a story to share with us, something oh, that took place on the field where the Lord led you to a situation that he was setting up all along. Tell us about it. Oh definitely, so I had the privilege of going to Rochester, Minnesota so it was a little cold, you know, winter's coming. And as I was canvassing, I went to this lady's house who at the first glance I knew it was going to be an interesting divine appointment. Mm -hmm. And so as she came to the door, I saw that she was wearing Buddhist meditation beads that are often used by New Agers. And she also had uh, shoes that had astrology signs all over them and the, you know, smiling sun and all this. And so I started with a health book because New Agers are really into health. And so the health book I showed her just goes into the information of America's longest living people. So whenever I showed her that, she was like, you know, it's funny. I've actually been trying to get more into natural ways of healing. Mm -hmm. And she told me about how she was a pharmacist, but she wanted to leave that and go into more holistic ways of healing. And she told me about her pursuits into diet nutrition, as well as herbology. But she also mentioned how she was into Ricky healing and crystal healing. Uh -huh. Yes, and um, you know, I shared with her that I was a Christian, but I myself was in influenced or participating in those different religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, and shamanism, mm -hmm. where those kind of practices were pretty common. So I was familiar with what she was talking about. And at first when I told her I was a Christian, there was kind of a barrier that went up. She was kind of hesitant, but whenever I told her about my past, all those barriers went down. And she was like, oh, so you're open-minded. I'm like, oh, well, of course I'm open-minded. And... Um, so uh, we continued to discuss, mm -hmm. and as she was opening up more to me, I could see that there was a certain level of discontent with what she was doing, and uh, whether it was her religious practices or her job as a pharmacist, I'm not quite sure, but I knew that there was something that she was longing for. Mm -hmm. And that's whenever I started to really tell her about Jesus, and as I was telling her about Jesus, she's like, oh, I love Jesus because she herself was actually a Baptist, but because of experiences she had in the church, she left the Christian faith and pursued a more free spiritual path, is what she said. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I sympathized with her on, you know, the hypocrisy in the church today and also how, you know, formalism can oftentimes divorce true spirituality from religion mm -hmm. and that's not what God wants. He wants that spirituality to be a really heart relationship with him and as I was sharing with her just about the love of Jesus I noticed that she started opening up a lot. I uh -huh. shared about how Jesus created the flowers and the food that we partake of and it's a blessing to us and he wants us to be happy with what he has given us. So as I started sharing with this, uh, sharing her this information, she said, you know, I believe wholeheartedly that the beautiful things of this world are given to us by God for our enjoyment. And I said, amen, they are. I mean, there, there's so many blessings that God has given us. Mm -hmm. And I, I told her about how much I appreciated Jesus and how Jesus has compelled my heart to want to serve him to my utmost ability. And that's why I was canvassing and at her door. And that's whenever I handed her steps to Christ. And when I handed her steps to Christ, she looked at the books and she said, you know, you're on a path that I want to be on. And we, you know, I started sharing with her how the Steps to Christ book really changed my life and helped me to overcome PTSD from mm -hmm. previous experiences that I actually got whenever I was into the occult and the New Age movement. 
and sharing with her how that book not helped not only me, but World War II soldiers through mm. traumatic experiences. And she said, you know, you, prob- you experienced the dark side of you know, demons and all these other things. And she said, I experienced that too. And she said that she had PTSD mm. because of those experiences as well. And, you know, she was really encouraged. She, she confessed, she's like, you know, I believe that God sent you to my door for a reason. And so I asked if she would like me to pray for her. And she said, of course you can. So we prayed together and God put the right words in my mouth to really appeal to her heart. And I just, after that prayer, there was a presence just so nice and so warming that I felt it, I know she felt it, and she said, thank you so much for coming by. I know that God sent you here today. And yeah, afterwards, I really started thinking, I'm like, Lord, that's exactly what you did to me, is that you put someone in my way to turn me to the right way when I myself was looking for truth. And that's what canvassing is all about, is God putting his people in the right position to minister to others. And I got to experience that in a very practical way. Wow, that is amazing. So you're telling me that it's really important for us to actually go out there and be there for somebody because we never really know who's actually waiting for us. Oh, this lady, if most of the church members were walked past her, they would think that she was a lost cause. Mm -hmm. But God has the proper keys. We're all keys. And he... If he has the right key that's willing to be used, he can unlock many hearts of many people, whether they're in the church or whether they're far from him in dark, dark religions. That is amazing, Jace. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you for sharing that story because something that it shows me is God was able to use your experience to reach out to someone out there. And who knows if someone else was put to that door, they might not have been able to relate. She might have possibly put up a wall. But because you were able to relate with her, to meet her where she was and to let her know, you know what, God did something for me. And then that allowed you to open the door to share Jesus. She was able to get a truth for your literature. That's right. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I hope you all were blessed as well. I'm pretty sure there's some of you who are wondering, how can I possibly experience that? And honestly, right in your backyard, right in your neighborhood, there might be people who you need to reach and who you're able to go out and be a missionary to as well. And if you're interested in learning more about this, visit our website at ohc.org where you can partake in a canvassing experience and be a missionary right in your backyard. But we thank you so much, Jace, again for sharing that. And that is all that we have today for for Faith From Above. And guys, I hope you all enjoyed it and catch us at the next episode of Faith From Above. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more episodes just like this.